Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to talk about the files. Files are very easy to use in C. To open them for reading, writing, appending and closing, uh, they are so easy. Uh, example, we are going to use studio.h header file and in the main uh, function we are going to declare file with two variables uf and uf uh, efp and ufp and both of them must be pointer it is very important and both input file pointer and output file pointer that they, they must be pointer because when we use fopen function for EOF input file, we are going to get the name of the uh, file and we are going to uh, select the mode R, which is for reading only, and output uh, file pointer. UFP is open another file name for only writing. If you want append, you use A. A W or W A, one of them. Append. You are going to write more thing in your file. You are going to do what you want to do with uh, all those files and you are ending your main function with fclose EO efp or fclose ufp both files must be closed and uh, i have a, a program to count the uppercase later, uh, letters in the in a file and i have uh, put it here I have a main function and I declare integers like C, I and a, an array of integers by 26 um, elements, letter of 26 and I am going to declare file, files, EFP pointed, pointed UFP and I am going to print something if you want it otherwise we don't need it and I am going to open the in file I must have because my program v1 is located in uh, in uh, yc and your in file must be inside your v1 uh, directory and i have noted few in uh, a meaning hello i am learning c and uh, i have used capital letter h here capital letter i here capital letter c here and uh, i am going to open and Output file dot text. It is a file name, and I am going to write because in this directory, if we want directory, I have only in file. When the program is running, it automatically uh, create an out file, uh, out file uh, text format. And for this, because we have 26 letters, A to Z, uh, to Z is 26 letters, and I am going to use a I loop, a, a for loop, and I am starting from zero, less than this uh, going uh, loop is going until uh, while i is uh, less than 26 and i'm going to increase it 
uh, or increment with one each step and the letter of I I am going to use uh, zero and it is only initializing of the uh, array letter while you can use here equal to only zero instead of that for loop but it is uh, another way to use uh, to initialize an array with all elements to zero and I, after for loop I am going to make a while loop and I am going to get a character from in, in file input file I am going to get a character and put it in the C which is integers and it is get C is a character but it is integer uh, function get C uh, returns integer that is because I have used in, uh, integer and it's the result is uh, putting in C variable and while this is not the end of while we are going to see if C <coughs> is a letter between A and Z the capital letter then plus plus letter of C minus capital letter A C is an integer minus A is a 49 and uh, if it is a capital letter it's going to put it in the A B C D E until Z and it is C minus capital letter A and C has a value if it is H 9 51 2 3 4 5 6 it is a, a 56 minus 49 and it's going to increase increase the, the value of letter which is integer with 1 and after that while I am going to use a for loop again and I am going to count if I reminder of I divided by 6 is 0 it means that it is uh, I is a divider of uh, 6 then you are going to uh, put in the output file a new line because I am going to make a six columns I am going to make a six columns A B C D E F it is six, six letters and I am going to begin it from G and so on that it is I am uh, making six columns and I am going to after that I am going to use f print f f print f is print to file f print f file name and the format and then you are going to use what should be written in uh, output file with which format I am going to use two formats the letter the uh, character and in character form that one is integer but I have counted A the first capital letter 
and plus it with I after this with I and I am going to if it is uh, the letter is H A plus 6 is the seventh uh, the seventh letter which is H and I am going to put the item as of uh, uh, H which is in in file and after that I am going to uh, put a new line in uh, output a line after that I am going to close the files close the files and I am going to uh, exit the uh, program now we are going to compile which is ok and I am going to run the message is there and I am going to the directory and the output file has been uh, created automatically and I am going to open it in in file in in file I have capital letter H capital letter H 1 capital letter I is 1 and capital letter C is 1 and the rest of them is zero. Then they have, we, I have one, two, three, four, five, six columns, and I have new line until Z. Okay. We have a few other uh, functions in F. Uh, in file which are very useful to use it uh, the function is fseek of which file and which offset and in which place when you use fseek in place you can s use six set which is going to put the indicator in the beginning of the file or you are going to instead of in place you are going to use seek cure which is going to put the indicator in the current place and when you are going to use in the seek end instead of in place you are going to put the indicator in the end of the file and you are going to continue with few functions and uh, something and uh, you are going to see what is happening another function is ftel of the file it returns the current value of the file position in the indicator for the associated with fp on a binary file this value is count of the number of bytes from the beginning of the file for text files on some systems this value is a magic cookie in any case by saving the value return fseek can be used to reset the file position indicator Another function is rewind and you are going to set the file position indicator in the beginning of the file and rewind is equal to fseek file with uh, zero line and set seek which put it in the beginning of the file fget pose position also you can give a temporary position or a position and put 
uh, put the indicator in the file in a specific position you want it okay it was all in this tutorial see you in the next tutorial